So quite a few months ago now, I recorded uh, a video where I tried to win with a three squad using Macaque and Robin. And I was just playing over and over, changing up the third pet in the team until I uh, could get a decent run. It took quite a lot of attempts, but in the end that run never saw the light of day because the winning game, I actually was watching a stream at the same time or listening to a stream in the background. And so there was no game audio and uh, that kind of pushed it to the bottom of the editing list and then eventually there were updates and updates and it just became so out of date that I decided not to bother uploading it. However, I did not remove it from the uh, ideas sheet and so we're coming back to it now. Um, Robin it is looking like it's going to get buffed on the test server. Uh, I don't think it's buffed on the live version. I mean, I'm sure we'll see it soon enough, but on the test server at the moment, um, the Robin will deal, uh, well, sorry, not the Robin, the nest will trigger the egg multiple times at higher levels. So with a level two Robin, you'll get uh, two hits from the egg, um, which I think is better than what they did before. On one of the previous test servers, they changed it so that um, the egg no longer, uh, the nest no longer had an egg, which was, Kind of a strange uh, alteration because it meant that you lost that kind of thematic element but it also meant that uh, robin no longer worked with uh, mole so yeah i was glad to see that that one didn't actually go through um whenever that update was published so at the start here we've got the uh, sea urchin and we had a rare situation in the previous round where the double sea urchin got sniped by the uh, woodpecker so both of the effects hit the same unit uh, you don't see that all that often. But no surprise, we're going to have to buff the Robin quite heavily in order for it to uh, be able to contribute once we get to the late game. Having the nest, the later you go, having the nest spawn is just so so much more of a liability um, because the egg, you know, triggering all the hurt pets like camel um, and, uh, you know, the nest actually having low stats itself giving extra triggers to, you know, units like uh, Rhino, for instance. Or, or not necessarily extra triggers, but easy uh, knockout. So we're, we're boosting up the nest and then we're going to have to look for Macaque as well. And uh, we'll definitely need to get it. Uh, I mean, getting the Robin to level three isn't super necessary, but the Macaque is almost certainly going to have to be uh, level three because um, at level three, you get a 36-36 uh, orangutan, which um, is really going to make a big difference for a, a team that isn't going to have a whole lot of uh, scaling. So we're looking for the, yeah, we'll just put rice on the stoat and hopefully we're going to get a uh, crow or blobfish. Actually, we're probably, uh, yeah, we're still on turn seven. So um, we do have a, still have a chance to sell for uh, crow or blobfish if I get the level up. But then if we don't, we can also sell the stoat on turn nine and potentially get macaque that way. So there is the stoat and I am gonna sell it now, I think. And it actually turns out to be clownfish. Um, I guess that's fine given that the robin is poised to level up. We just need to find another one or possibly a chocolate next turn. And um, <laughs> this is kind of an unusual team. Where they've got the it looked like they were going for the uh, bulldog uh, achievement there because I can't see any other reason why you would have the bulldog on this team but uh, garlic serves us well thankfully only level one vulture I mean with blobfish being a lower tier it is much less common that you run into people who have level two um, higher tier units earlier but it still definitely happens fairly regularly. So here we go, we get the chocolate and I think I just take it now instead of waiting for the, the clownfish uh, next turn. And then we can buy sell oyster and bring in the blob. And uh, I will actually have some uh, extra bonus clips at the end of this because as you'll see there were um, there was, a, there was something else I was going for, which I didn't quite pan out. Uh, here's a carve. And uh, I think we should be okay. Yeah, it's slug and beluga, which is um, 
par for the course, I think. So level three, uh, am I going to use it? Oh yeah, just put the chocolate onto the blobfish so that when we do find the pill, we'll be ready to get the level two macaque straight away. And a classic mistake I was making over and over again was getting into this kind of position where I've got the blobfish ready and then, or even a level two crow. And then I would bring in the macaque and uh, forget that I would need to downgrade to a three squad. So if you run a four squad with Robin and Macaque, whichever one has the higher attack is going to spawn first. So I ended up getting the nest, uh, bumping the orangutan off the screen quite often. Um, so we need to make sure we don't make that mistake this time and we'll buy another rice for the giraffe. It's uh, put in quite a shift getting this far. And I think probably at this point, I'm thinking that this run is, um, is over because I haven't managed to find... Uh, the macaque early enough and uh, unfortunately this team has the oh I, <laughs> I say unfortunately we do actually get the one hp breakpoint there and manage to get the win but yeah they had the uh the double lemon but uh the the scaling on the robin was good enough so here is the situation we get the level two macaque and have i remembered that i need to sell something or not i'm freezing the um Okay, yes, I am going to remember this time. I'm freezing the uh, uh, the snapping turtle because I wouldn't mind getting um, skewer onto the macaque, but we're just going to go with um, popcorn for just now. And that kind of ties into the, uh, the other thing that I was going for, which I will talk about at the end. A snipe team, with, uh, now, which now has virtually no HP left. And I think we are going to get through them with the garlic. And yeah, so now nine wins, turn 13, and I'm feeling like this is, this is my chance to, <laughs> to get what I wanted. And uh, because we're um, so late in the day, I decide to actually just uh, go for the two squad now. So I, I freeze the German Shepherd here because that ties into what I, I really wanted to do. And then we might as well just go for it here and see if we can get the two squad win. Now, in retrospect, I should not have put the nest first, although luckily, although it ends up not mattering, the uh, the leopard ended up killing the nest. I mean, level three leopard plus tiger <laughs> turn 13. Um, with the two squad, everything's gonna get hit pretty much. So I decide to actually forget about the German Shepherd, uh, which was part of my plans originally. And then I'm just gonna bring in the mongoose to get uh, coconut. And if you put the macaque at the front, then it will receive the coconut first. The toys always go first. So instead of the popcorn, we'll get coconut replicated onto the um, orangutan. And it's another rhino team, but uh, this one doesn't have the, uh, the leopard to back it up. And uh, the two squad actually gets the win with the two hearts intact. So we'll go on to some of the bonus clips now. Here's another one where I was in the similar position, but much, much later. And uh, you can see I've got the chocolate frozen and that's because I was hoping for a German Shepherd and I just kept rolling for it and not finding it. Um, I think these days, anytime I get into those kind of situations, as soon as I've rolled for you know one turn, it probably means it's game over. And here I'm now thinking about replacing the uh, sock with the, the coconut again but I think we're just gonna roll past. And yeah, I don't find what I'm, I'm looking for. And then it's level three skunk. Uh, so we're gonna instantly lose our biggest unit. This team isn't really that good for turn um, 16, but uh, we've got level three Robin on turn 16. So yeah, we, we end up losing there. I mean, if that's anything other than level three skunk, we would have probably been okay, but that team would never have survived that far without it. Same setup here, but this time we're, we do have the German Shepherd, which is exactly what I was uh, going for. I wanted to have a uh, German Shepherd because then it would uh, give attack to both of the start of battle summons, which is something that you don't really see that often. Um, but it was just proving nightmarishly difficult for no apparent reason. You'd think it would be harder uh, to win with the two squad than to win with the German Shepherd assistance. But look at the, the stats here. I mean, 
that level three bus was like 30 attack, which is just ludicrous for a summon. And uh, although in the end it is actually relatively close, if we'd had some uh, equipment on the German Shepherd, um, maybe it would have been okay. But that game was a crazy starfish high roll, and I ended up with the 50 50 Robin so quickly, and it still wasn't enough. So here's another one where we have the German Shepherd. It's uh, level one, but it does have uh, Melon this time. And we face this uh, Spinosaurus team, and I wonder if they were going for the uh, horse achievement. But Spinosaurus just gives so much attack that it just completely invalidates the melon on the robin at the back here. But we still have another chance, so we'll just keep buffing everything. It is a little bit annoying when you've got units like uh, Turkey and German Shepherd on the team, and you're doing all these buy cells, and every time it pauses for the... Uh, um, for the, the temporary stats, but into battle again, and it's back to back level two Spinosaurus. Uh, although again, this team, it has the monkey in there, so it's not as strong as it could be for a summon build. They get mole from Orca. So actually the mole is gonna remove the equipment from the units at the back, but it didn't matter because they also got microbe. And so we lose our equipment. And then Anteater now spawns the triple ant and with the extra attack, we're going to lose because of the microbe. I think we would have lost. Maybe we would have lost either way, or maybe that would have been a tie. But with three wins required, that team just didn't have what it takes to get any further.